Hello everyone, it's John of R82 back again, brand new video. Today is probably Friday, hopefully this is going out, unless I'm ill or something. Um, today I've heard the rumour that there is going to be a multi-doctor story at Christmas again. So, well, um, a, a doctor's story, you know, last Christmas is was with Cap Captain Jack. It was with a lot of people, Captain Jack was one of them. And this Christmas, the rumour at the moment is the 8th Doctor, Paul McGann, is going to be in the Christmas special. Now, my thoughts on this would be, the well, repeat Capoli, my thoughts, and because he hasn't had a lot of screen time, I would love to see it. And there was like articles saying, yes, he would love to do it, he would love to see how it would go, he'd love to return to the Doctor Who, but that is the rumour at the moment. Though, of course, people are saying that, you know, is it a rumour? Is it not? But it's a rumour, and it's what people like. So I'm going to call it my thoughts on the rumour. Um, no, I don't think it's right. So if it did happen, I think it would have to show maybe the master. So John Sim, in my opinion, would have to be with John Hurt or the Paul McGann master. And it would have to show him and Michelle Gomez regenerate. Now, I know Ro Robert, 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 eh, eh, I can't put that, Eric, Robert Eric, or whatever, Eric Roberts, Master, we didn't see that, but as far as we know, his body was burnt down in the higher family, and he was dead. The time was re him into a young Yana, so this is your information, a young Yana, and he grew up to be old Yana, and then we had John Sim, then Missy, and because John Sim, at the end of the end of time, part two, ran away to, well not ran away, but he went to the end of time, and somehow he got back as Missy, and that as far as we know about that. So, um, continuing on, I think it would have to show that. So we didn't need to see Eric Roberts' mask regenerate, as in, it never really happened. And same with um, Roger Delgado's mask. If it has a, it's like the Doctor, if it has a proper reason we don't see him regenerate, I will, I just like that. That's cool, isn't it? That's cool. I don't need to see the mask regenerate. I think that should have a Doctor too. Maybe the Rani, maybe the Rani should come back too, and they say, oh, the Rani had to regenerate because blah, blah, blah. I don't think they have the rights to the Rani because they would have done it by now. They would have shown it in Doctor Who by now. But I don't think they have the rights anyways. I like the one in, what's it called? Sir Jane Fletcher, is that her name? RJ, so I think, I think that's her name, Rose. Um, play the Rani, the actual Rani in Sergio Adventures, that'd be cool, that'd be so ironic when she's a bit older. Um, but I don't think they'd do that and say, well, I regenerate because of a thing pop attack, I'm here now. And we just think that is it. But the thing is, big audio, big finish audios do this, and a lot of other things do this. They put like merchandise, and that's the thing with uh, the master, with the bald master from, um, He's not from, is he from in between us? I've probably got that wrong. Um, or glasses, I think. Um, they made that, that he was like a middle doctor or something somewhere, somewhere along the lines. I'm thinking, no, don't do that. That's why sometimes you don't like listen to big audio because they mix up. But there you go. Um, so the master did go back in the time war and he did regenerate. So we're, would probably guess Rassilon made him regenerate um, into Missy. So I'd like to see that story be played out because the Eighth Doctor did feature it in the Time War. He did. There's no question about that. He was in the Time War. He might have been in the beginning of the Time War, but it was in the Time War. Christy knew it and he knew to go there. So how do you know to go there? How do you know to go there? And he's like, well, I'm the Doctor, but I'm not the one you're expecting. So that is my thought of um, the, the, the eighth doctor being there, or somehow the twelfth doctor got there, and maybe that's how he will, because somehow the eighth doctor remembers or something, because um, he had to be there, or the twelfth doctor remembers or something, and they tell each other, oh, you gotta be here. One of them tells each other, like, you gotta be here. Sooner or later, the day will come where you have to 
wipe out Gallifrey, but that isn't today. You will have, well, you have to kick everyone off Gallifrey. That's what I've thought to say, but that's not today. You will save Gallifrey with another 12, 11 of us, sorry. And the eighth doctor will remember this, and he will sometime in the you know, future go there, and then right up, it'll show that. It will show him going there, and then it will show him somehow landing on Cassie's ship, and then it will, you know. So we have a, we have a, we have a, we have a, you know, multi dot story with the master, you know, all that time war rubbish, and how the master regenerating to Missy and all that. But I think a lot of people just say, well, Russ long shot him, you know, with his lightning. And he regenerated. And I can't believe Rasnall was so calm and how bent. He was so calm. He wasn't, you know, angry with the Doctor. He was trying to kill the Doctor the last time we saw him. Now he's just like, I'm fried. I've got to go. Escape, Paul. They're activated. So that's my thoughts on that. I think... I think there'd be a Mighty Doctor story. I'd like to see a Mighty Doctor story for Christmas special. I don't think it will happen. There's enough... Of, and um, one that there'd be a um Matt Smith and Dave Tennant with her song um at her birthday. Um no I I haven't seen this, I'm not a fan of audio so if it's an audio it's an audio. But a lot of people talk about that. Um being a mercy doctor story that can come out. Pierre Davison, I think, could come back. The Crater, what happens with, with the Crater? You know, Tom Baker, love to see that. Colin Baker from Sylvester McQuay, serves a run out of spells. Um, you need to talk to Chris Ferguson as well, get him back on the bandwagon. Matt Smith needs the money, give him the money. David Tennant always is good at the Doctor, give him the rights to be the Doctor. John Hurt, we've only seen him in the name of the Doctor. I mean, you can count, what, what was it called again? I can't remember the story when they're on. Well, the Doctor's young and Clara's under his bed. Um, you see flashbacks in that story. I can't remember what that story's called. It's that bad. I can't remember what it's called. No, I can't remember what it's called. Um, Clara's on the bed and she's the thing that scares the Doctor. Rubbish, um, in my opinion. Um, and it's like a ghost. And they're like, no, it's your imagination. Or is it? You know, you can't really tell what it is. Anyways, what was I saying? I've got what I'm saying. I'm going off and ram here. Dry my lips. Um, because I'm getting them bleeding, you know, cracked lips. End up bleeding. Um. Yeah. So. What other John Hurt? Yeah. So we're using the name of the dot and day of the dot. That was it, right? I think so. He was in two and Night of the Doctor. Well, he wasn't really in that. He was like the voice in that, and there was like a different actor. Maybe him with like no, it wouldn't show that. No, I was gonna say the Eighth Doctor, but that would be no. There'd be no. Um, it made no sense in my mind. I don't know why he wouldn't be there. Oh yeah, because he started off as a young Doctor during the Time War, but that was obvious. The Eighth Doctor was in the Time War somewhere. So the eighth doctor was in the time war, battling the time war, and the John Hurt doctor took a long time time war. So I believe the ninth doctor was never in the time war. He he was you know just after the time war. He was just after the time war. He just regenerated, which makes sense that John Hurt regenerated in the day doctor, and we saw him regenerate, and that was the first time we saw his face in Rose. But me rambling on isn't going to help. I don't think Chris Vegas would ever turn, return back. It'd be nice to see him come back. I mean, maybe for the 75th anniversary, he would have to come back. What are we on now? Nearly up to the 60th, aren't we? It's probably like the 54th anniversary this year. Maybe he'll come back for the 60th anniversary. Because after that, he'll be like new 70. Maybe he'll do a Tom Baker and do a 80, 80 again. Like Tom Baker, like I'm the one who brought back Doctor Who, but I, I don't know if Doctor Who even survived to then. 2020, 
is the end of Doctor Who, and this is 2017, and it has to be given a new showrunner as well, so we have to see what it goes like with him. And if he's no good, then you can guarantee Doctor Who will be over. If he doesn't write any good stuff, if he doesn't get a new audience, you know, a new set of audience members, it will be over. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Me rambling on about a multi Doctor story. Um, though I would like to see Classic Companions come back. I mean, Craig needs to come back, as there was supposed to be another story with him, with Matt Smith's Doctor. Maybe they they need to do this in Big Finish. I know I don't like it. But they need to do, they need to get him in just for one story or two or whatever whole pack of stories, and then get it over with because he's supposed to come back and he never did. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And Cat Jack needs to come back too. Torchwood needs to come back. And I'll keep saying it. And goodbye for now. Bye bye.